Cinema Hemen. Welcome back to Tom Plays Civ 6 for Absolute Beginners. We're back with the Sumerians. Had a slightly rough time last time, lost three cities. Largely due to being in a dark age, which I believe we're finally about to escape. So there's every chance we might gain the cities back. But we'll see. In all honesty, it doesn't really matter that much. I believe we're going to win a science victory either way. So I'm not too concerned. Our main concern remains building spaceports, building industrial zone capabilities. So that we can build spaceships as soon as possible and, and basically head off into space before anyone else. So that's effectively what we're going to be doing. We do need to make an archaeologist. <laughs> but uh, yeah, apart from that, okay, scavenger. Now I was thinking that you would build a, a seaport, to be honest. Although I'm suddenly thinking you really need a builder. There are a lot of unexploited areas around you. So let's take a little bit of time out to build a builder. Okay, Mary Leakey is in position, but can't actually do anything until we have an archaeologist and some great works. So we need to do that first. An apostle here. Suddenly realising that we are apparently under attack. So you, my friend, can clear off. Great. Right. Yeah, still have to remain vigilant in terms of a religious war. Oh, we already have a builder. All right. Okay, my mistake. Apparently we were already on the way for that. Okay, you can build a seaport then. Excellent. Right, in that case, I think aluminium is probably a big one because it's useful for planes, if nothing else. We've gained a boost in nanotechnology for doing that. Excellent. You can just sleep. You're fine. You can just fortify. see how things go. Okay, you need to recuperate. Might want to move this spy over to the industrial zone. Might depend where we build the spaceport as well when we have one. This is a spaceport here, I think, being built. So that spy's fine, which is the important thing. Atomic era ends in six turns. That's when we get out of the Dark Age. Okay, so you built that. Go do some nitre. Field cannons arrived in Uruk. We may actually be getting to the point where we finally, after all this time, actually have ranged units in every town. In fact, we've got a spare here because they were from ADAB. We could probably use them to form a core. We do want to start forming cores. As many as we can. Lagash, rest and repair. Okay, infantry could be upgraded if they're in friendly territory. I am definitely up for that. It's a free city rebellion in eight turns. Okay, we'll see. They may join the Romans, but we'll see. Okay. 
I'm still hoping for a bit of a turnaround in terms of loyalty as soon as we're out of the Dark Age, finally. You just need to remember it doesn't really matter. Okay, new power plants. We've gained another boost to advanced ballistics this time. So, uh, you have finished your industrial zone constructions. So it's time to build a spaceport. Ideally, it would be next to the industrial zone, which unfortunately isn't an option. That's going to give us a bit of a dilemma as to which which zone we protect. Although I suppose if we can make four spies, we could protect them both. Really got to stop sending apostles into our land. It is not going to end well. Not ever. Okay. So we've now got mechanized infantry. Still need more amenities. Culture is dominant over Arabia. Wow. That's very exciting. I will give an Arabia as two cities. It's not much of an achievement. Still, not to worry. Okay, well, she is an ally, so Nitra is an option. Silk and cocoa. Free per turn, jade, salt. I'm fine with that. I'm actually fine with that. She is a good friend, despite her attempts to attack us religiously. Let me move you back for some repair. At least see if that apostle comes any closer. I mean, they're technically in their land now. Okay, what do we want next? dyes would be good but then so would wheat. Also we might need yet another builder. Mechanized infantry, okay you can go there. Just as a kind of bastion. Oh this is just the cities that rebelled before. We just need to get out of the Dark Age, basically. Dark Age is not a good idea. Never does you good. At least this one, this city seems to be staying loyal. That's the main thing. Okay, Alliance is still looking strong. We have another great person. We've got a great engineer. Now that is good news. First time we've had a great engineer. Plus, yep, yeah, more era score. We are so close to getting a heroic age, but I still don't think we're going to manage it. But Tibera, right? I have a feeling. Are you the one with the theatre square? You are. I need you to make an archaeologist. There we go. Nipper. Okay, well you appear to be entertainment again, so let's build a zoo. Uruk. Uruk has got Jane Drew, plus three amenities to the city, plus our house with the city. It is our capital city. It's probably the best place to do that. So let's just go for it. Lagash. Got an apostle fully healed. They are now in our land. Buddhists this time. So yes, I suppose unleash the theologians of war. I 
should build some planes at some point. I'm actually surprised we haven't converted anyone to Enki with all these attacks that have been happening. Well, there you go, as long as our cities are Enki, that's what matters. Oh, a little like Petra. He wants dyes. No problem there at all. I am happy to have oranges. I'm sure my citizens would like to have some oranges in their diet. A bit of vitamin C, why not? Computers. Okay, making progress. Okay, we've got an, a boost already to advanced ballistics, so let's go for that one. Unit needs orders, rest and repair. This unit needs orders, can't rest and repair, needs to go next to a shrine. Oh no, we don't need to rest and repair, rather. Okay, well you head up there. You can build a plantation. And I do think we need another builder to take advantage of all this wheat. You're the one that needs to rest and repair. So you head next to the shrine. So we're ready for the next religious unit that comes along. Okay, now you form a core. And then I'm going to want you to defend Kish. I'm feeling if we form three cores we get another boost maybe to a culture we would need to finish building another field cannon to do that uh, actually you can just fortify never mind fortify until heal just fortify full stop you can sleep and move you onto the shrine get you a bit closer okay a dilbat they are Buddhist, but I don't think there's much I can do about it. So that is fine. I can live with that. Let's build a Ferris wheel. At least keep them relatively loyal, despite them being a different religion. Lost suzerain status. Well, we'll hopefully gain some envoys soon, and we need to renew our alliance. So we'll declare friendship, and then we will renew our military alliance with him, which he is happy to accept. Just checking that we don't have any options to ask them to make promises. He still doesn't want an embassy. Fair enough. Okay, that's good. The apostle can just sleep until the next threat comes along. <laughs> Lots of negatives, but I'm not too worried. We need housing. <sighs> Got one that needs food. I mean, we'll try. Looks like Adab has become Scottish. So we can now go further than a core unit and make an army unit. Well, we haven't finished making core units yet. Okay, policies. Right, we've got a new military policy. Unit maintenance cost reduced by two gold per turn. Well, I do like that. It does come in handy. Even though the loyalty might be useful, but I think we're out. We're back into a normal age, so loyalty shouldn't be as much of a problem now. Okay, economic, is there anything better than this trade? Probably not, to be honest. Two influence points towards city-state envoys. I still quite like that, even though we do have some other fancy options. Plus two, science, culture, faith, and goal. Well, what we could do with is becoming a democracy, to be honest. Probably what we could really do with. Not to worry. Let's go with that. So, our dedication. Normal age. 
What should our dedication be? I don't know if it's going to matter. So we've got artifacts, which we may be able to do. Sky and stars, aerodrome buildings, again, and great people. These actually look very similar to the last ones, except for this one. Artifacts. Still think we're in a better position for sky and stars, especially because we were already doing that one. So let's go with that one. So doesn't actually look like it matters I think this is the last era so I think we're in a normal age from now on our only option is ideology fair enough and we have potentially a governor promotion so we could make a couple more governors but I think Pingala can be given a boost to space initiative so let's do that because that is probably far more important. The Mind of a Diplomat has recovered. So let's put her into one of these. How about Dilbat? Maybe see if we can get Akshak back. You never know. half tempted towards this one as well but I just think we've got in some ways less chance but we'll see we've got some new city-state quests trigger a Eureka for guidance systems well we'll try in fact let's just check our city-states in general okay recruit a great writer train a rocket artillery religious conversion religious conversion a constructor campus Great Merchant, Cavalry, and Eureka for Guidance System. I'm not sure we're going to be doing any of those, in all honesty, except perhaps by accident. Okay, they've crossed the border again. They're not learning, are they? I think how much faith it must be costing them to uh, constantly lose apostles like this. Oh, excellent. Tromzo is now Enki. Let's see it. Oh, here we go. There's an apostle. <laughs> and we can probably make more where those come from just stop doing it good decision go away attack ADAB if you must I might try and get a promise out it would have got they want the truth of the, the tooth of the prophet no thank you not keen. So you're in Scotland, Uruk expands further, becomes a larger city of our people. Okay, a bit of era score there. Yeah, it's not having any effect now. So we actually don't need to worry about era score anymore. More science, broadcast centers, globalization. Guidance systems, we have to kill a fighter to get guidance systems and extract an artifact. Right, I don't think we're going to kill a fighter. So we might get a boost through our great scientist, but that will be purely accidental if we do. Okay, Uruk, I think, has finished the industrial zone. So you should now work on a spaceport next to the industrial zone would be ideal which is there so let's build it in a swamp and then we're going to move our spy next time they ask for orders ok 
Okay. Looking good generally. So is Pingala here? Pingala isn't there. Pingala should be there. Need to reassign him. Oh, he's just helped with the research lab. Well, fair enough. They've just about finished, so that's perfect. Get some training posts. First sea voyage. Oh, I think we've finished our battleship, finally. The activity completed. Industrial zone. I like that. And we've converted Tromso to Enki. Interesting. So we want to make Enki the dominant religion in Tromso. And those two are trying to stop. That's interesting. And we will gain a boost if we make it Enki. Okay. Okay. Challenge accepted. Haven't seen that one before. I would like to make a naturalist anyway. Okay, Eridu, you have finished your research. I'll do a monument for loyalty, but we need to send Pingala down here. Okay, why am I not seeing it? Oh. Because I'm blind. Cool. So he will help with the initial space projects, which will happen here. Right. Okay. We need to defend Enki. Specifically in that city. I think I've seen these happen before for war issues. But I don't think I've seen one for religious war before. It's quite interesting. Okay. Shurapak. Alright, I think I do need another builder before anything else. So you make a builder. But yeah, we finally have a navy which might help us get on okay with Harold. Probably not because the navy we've got probably isn't sufficient. Now this is interesting. We do have some spreads left. So I think our religious combat will be fine as long as we keep one spread ready. Okay, we have a battleship. Well, I suppose we could do some exploring. No reason why not. Try and discover the world a little. Okay, Stavanger has got a few options. Well, how about this one? Veli try. Also, we don't have any choice but to take part in the whole Tromso thing anyway, so... May as well do our best. He would like open borders. Okay. I don't see that as a huge threat. Not anymore. Right, campus. I don't actually want to renew the mission this time. I want you to send you to the industrial zone. Okay, well, let's just put you on the other side. So the objective here is to prevent anybody else from spreading your religion. And then we will bring these ones up. 
and effectively surround the city. I think you have a promotion. But still better off than the data, really. Full spreads. Yep, no problem. We'll just increase Enki. Again. And we have a naturalist. I think there was only one place they could go. Oh no, apparently there are now two places they can go. Wasn't that interesting? Admittedly, that would be pretty good, even though it means losing an artifact and losing some wheat. So I might go for it anyway, so that means we could actually make a third naturalist. Which would improve our tourism immensely. And also help us get on with, I think, Harold and Robert. Okay, I want you to counter spy, but I want you to do it in the industrial zone. This time. I do like the battleship, it looks suitably intimidating. Pyramids. Nice. It's one place we really did uh, fall behind is in Wonders. Yeah, we literally just managed to make like the Forbidden City and that was it. Uh, I think we're fine with what we have. Honestly. So, new culture. Well, nuclear program is an option. But I would like to become a democracy. Let's do suffrage. Should have built more sewers. But, um. Not to worry. Okay, we've got two envoys. So, which was the one we lost? Suzerainty. It was this one. I'm just going to put them in there, try and regain suzerainty. I mean, he is an ally, so I'm not terribly worried. Let's see if I can put my apostle there. Thoroughly surround the city. How long do we have to keep it? Four? 27 turns? That's a bit of an investment, to be honest. Still, not to worry. Now we can actually make another apostle if we need to. Oh, here we go. We've got some apostles coming. I have got a bunch of apostles coming. So clearly, the religious war is about to start in earnest. Oh, something to do while we're conquering space, I suppose. Oh. Okay, wasn't expecting that. That's actually a bit of a nuisance. I think we can build another one. We can build another apostle. Thing is, in a lot of ways, we'll probably gain more from doing this through the theological combat. That will also increase Enki. Might even turn some of the other cities Enki around it, which will really help. But what we are going to have to do is keep sending troops back. Troops. <laughs> keep sending apostles back to uh, recharge theologically. So more difficult. Yeah, I want you to attack. Okay, apparently I can't attack. 
bit upsetting. Never mind, as long as you can do religious spread from there, then we're fine. Okay, because it's their city, they can actually enter the city. Which gives them a bit of an advantage. They're actually attacking us. Cheeky. Okay, so they urgently need to pull out. This is the problem, we could lose a theological combat. Okay, more era score. Not a bad thing. Okay, every do. They're recommending an encampment, a harbour, and an aerodrome. Well, to be fair, they are at the edge now. I'm going to build a sewer though. Probably too late to give us a boost to democracy. Way too late, in fact. But wouldn't mind having. A proper sewage system. Okay, Lagash. Right, interesting. You have fulfilled all the aerodrome things, so I really think you should be making some planes. I'll go with our advice and I'll make a fighter. Right, well first things first, I want to get you out of range. And ideally, back to Lagash to heal. Oh, actually you could have just stayed there. Okay. You're fully healed, so you can attack. Cycle some of these a bit. Not happy about the route they're taking. Well, not to worry. Not really achieving much of this battleship, I'm just taking a little tour just to show off the fact that I've got one. <laughs> Naturalist! Make a national park! Oh, fair enough. Okay, we're under attack religiously. And that's not a good sign. Okay, an enemy spy has eluded capture, but it's not clear that they've actually achieved anything. I suppose they might have done. To promote an apostle, apparently. Seem to give an option though, maybe they've already moved. Okay, Shirapak, so they're our great naval city. I'll also, build a sewer. I feel like I've neglected our sewer building far too much. I'm gonna try and carefully pull you out. to repair. Shurpak has made a builder which is great. Go and do some rice. Get a bit of uh, variety in our diets. Okay. 
very much want to know if there's anything we can do with apostles. Yes, there is. <laughs> Brilliant, they've become Enki as well. That should help us stay Enki, I imagine. Oh, we should do the theological combat. Uh, you should try to get a bit closer. I don't know if we're actually going to manage to keep Trumps or Enki for all this time. I don't know if it's even going to matter or not, but I think it might. But there's kind of a, a gold thing in it for us, so it's worth at least attempting. I kind of wonder if we should bring some apostles over from over there. And we have made a spaceport. Brilliant. That is what we wanted. Okay, Larak. Right, I want you to build a sewer as well. Let's have some sewage. Right, so you have built a spaceport, so it's time for you to start on launching an Earth satellite. And I think that may be where we stop. As soon as we get to the next turn thing. You injured? You're not injured. Can I attack you? I can't attack you because you're in the city. Interesting. So rest and repair. I feel like we're in a bit of a weak position with our apostles, unfortunately, but at the same time, we also seem to have seen them off. So yeah, not bad. With um, so we've got this religious emergency going on where Saladin and Harold have teamed up, despite having different religions because apparently they're concerned about us taking over the religions of the world and honestly I, I personally did not care about them getting Tronzo back for being Yankee but seeing as they've made this big emergency about it and the winner gets some cash it's suddenly become worth doing so I'm going to try and keep doing that but in the meantime our main concern of course is the spaceport over here so while Uruk and Ur are building their spaceports because of the last leg of a science um, victory, we're going to need three. For the time being, we just start on the Earth satellite. Governor Pingala is established, so he should be helping, which is why it's only taking 12. But apparently Scotland is leading. Interesting. See if they're still leading once we've launched our Earth satellite, because I'm not showing any sign of them having started. So maybe they're just ahead of us. But that took me by surprise. I did not know they were that far ahead. Unless taking our city has helped. So yeah, so once again, we don't need to worry about domination as long as we have Uruk. We don't need to worry about religious as long as we have Uruk. So the only concern is culture, and we're slowly moving our way up the tourism set. Not enormously up, mostly it's Tommy Riss who's going to prevent Trajan from getting a victory, but he's certainly nowhere near at the moment. No tremendously obvious progress in taking this city, but you never know. Rebellion in six turns, we'll see what happens. We'll see. It's not a big problem. Less optimistic about that one. It's a bit far out from our actual city. But yeah, that's brilliant. So we'll leave it there. We'll see if we can keep Tromzo Enki for 23 more turns. <laughs> not that optimistic. And uh, just keep working on the science thing. And we should be fine. So that's great. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.